there's enough people in the world, in your area, in your town, in your neighborhood to take your service if you're marketing to the right people, if you let them know that you're available. I think too often we get lazy. And I say we, I'm not just talking about you, I'm talking about all of us. We get lazy in the way that we market ourselves and we promote ourselves. I'm seeing that huge in the last couple of months. Hey leaders, I hope you're doing amazing. Happy uh, day to you. I don't know what day it is that you're watching this, but happy day to you. I am here in Australia, the land down under. That's right. I am here to speak at an event. I have a client down here as well. Uh, Nino, you might be watching this right now. And I got to speak to a group of dentists as I was down here. It was a lot of fun. And now taking a little bit of time to relax. But before I came here, I actually was at an event. Sorry, the way I'm holding this microphone, I want to make sure that you hear me very well. Uh, before I came here, I was in a uh, conference myself that I went to called the Genius Network. Actually, it's the only T-shirt I brought with me on, the, on when I came down here to Australia. Uh, not that was totally a mistake, but that's the only T-shirt I brought with me. Uh, it was an event that was about how, a marketing event and a business event on how to grow your business and scale your business. And the people that were in there were amazing. The speakers that we had were off the the chain. I mean, it was insane. There was multiple guys that had multiple million dollar businesses, like hundreds of millions of dollars. I have a couple of guys that were there that I got to speak to that had billion dollar business. I had a guy who had a supplement business online who was going to be doing two billion dollars this year in supplements online. I mean, the amount of wealth and knowledge in that room was just so great. I took a ton of notes. I'm excited to share some of that stuff with you. And one of the things that I talked about, um, is something that I wanted to just reach out and talk to you today about very quickly because I believe it's a conversation that is almost never ending because it's one of those things that we always need to keep in our own head. I need to have it in my own head too and, and remember it and definitely I'm sure some of you struggle with this as well. And it's the idea of competition and this idea that competition is in your area. So I'm looking up a note that I want to make sure that I have as we are talking about this. So this idea comes up a lot, right? That if somebody else gets a patient or a client, then I don't get them, which obviously logically is true. Like they get that person because you didn't. But what stops us is when we see that and then that becomes our defeat, right? It becomes like, oh, they choose them over me. That must mean something about me and something about them. I use the phrase a lot, right? Somebody choosing your service or product doesn't make your service or product better. Just like them not choosing it doesn't make it worse. I feel the same way with my product, right? I am the best in the world at what I do. You're the best in the world at what you do. Just because somebody chooses not to sign with me or to do my program doesn't make my program worse. And just because you chose to invest in it doesn't make it better. It's a matter of making sure that the process itself, the product itself is as good as it possibly can be. How they choose in or out is not up to me. But there is something that a, a client of mine years ago said to me. It's actually a chiropractor client. And he said, Dino, there's no shortage of sick people. It's something that he had to really get to understand for himself. So there's no shortage of sick people. What that means is that there's enough people in the world, in your area, in your town, in your neighborhood to take your service if you're marketing to the right people, if you let them know that you're available. I think too often we get lazy. And I say we, I'm not just talking about you, I'm talking about all of us. We get lazy in the way that we market ourselves and we promote ourselves. I'm seeing that huge in the last couple of months. I decided to, the last couple of months, uh, two months ago, I said, you know what, this last quarter, I want to be a huge push. I want to get, get my name out there. I want to get more people out there. So I hired somebody to talk more about me, to get more information there out, me, uh, out there about me. And we're having the, one of the best uh, quarters of the year on sales because we're really letting people know more about that. And I'm honing in and targeting people who are specifically, I believe, are my clientele. What I wanted to do is talk to you, uh, is to focus on how for you, there is no shortage of sick people. If, I was thinking about this uh, on my way over here actually to Australia uh, because I had this conversation with a gentleman who uh, was had a business, a multi-million dollar business, does really, really well in the uh, book space, right? In the author space, right? And he was saying, look, there's, there's no shortage of people out there who want to be an author. They just don't know how to do the process. And I was talking about him, about I have the same philosophy when it comes to clientele. And I, I just thought of this on the way over here thinking, you know, if you were to take 
the population of your city or your state or your county or whatever you want to do. Let's just go with your city. And you were to divide that with all of the people who do your same service in your area, whether it be dental or ortho or legal or financial planning, whatever it is that your small business is, if you were to divide the amount of people, the population of your city, with the amount of people of uh, services that are rendered that are the same as yours in the area, I would bet you money that there's no way you could evenly divide all of those people with the amount of services in that area and you could have enough time to handle all of them or your competition. There'd be too many people when we divide it all up, the amount of the number, the pure number of people that we were to divide up, unless you live in some real rural town in the middle of nowhere, which most of you don't. But even then, it's not about the numbers. It's about you being able to market to the right people, that you being able to target market your ideal client, knowing who they are. I said before that it's not about competition. Competition is a matter of you not understanding how who your ideal client is and how to market to them and how to get them to say yes to you. There's uh, As I was talking to Shannon about this the other day, uh, we were talking about on the plane actually on the way over here. It's a long plane ride. And she had found this, I think it was yesterday, two days ago. She sent this to me and I thought, oh, this is perfect. I want to share. It's a, it's by an unknown author. And so I can't give them credit, but she sent me this meme and it says this, it says your comp, your competition isn't other people. Your competition is your procrastination, your ego, the unhealthy food you're consuming, the knowledge you neglect, the, ne- the negative behavior you're nurturing and your lack of creativity. Compete with that. I'm going to say that again. Your competition isn't other people. Your competition is your procrastination, your ego, the unhealthy food you're consuming, the knowledge you neglect, the negative behavior you're nurturing, and your lack of creativity. That was like so true. And just like that, that's a drop the mic, right? That's a truth bomb moment. That it's not about the competition or the other people in your area. It's about your unwillingness to get up and do something different, to see things in a different view, to ask somebody else, hey, what am I doing here that's not working? And what, what something else can I could try? Something that no one else has done before. Someone, something that's not, uh, that, that isn't a rinse and repeat, so I'm gonna get the same results. I want a new different result, so I gotta try new and different things. Uh, multiple new and different things, right? Too, too many of us try that one thing one time, it doesn't work, it's like, see, that didn't work, I gotta go back to the old stuff. And the ego part, right? It's not. It's your procrastination, your ego, your your knowledge, uh, the knowledge you neglect. Like there's information out there to get. This this event I was at the Genius Network was just full of all these marketers, these people who knew how to get their message out there. Obviously, you can't have a billion dollar uh, business without making sure you know how to get your message out there. Uh, there is a gentleman, Russell Brunson, who uh, runs a thing called ClickFunnels, which I use. I mean, he did. Three million dollars in 90 minutes out of a presentation because he knew how to to craft his message to the right people and what they were needing and how to tell them this is what you need. I have the answer for what you need. Uh, and then lastly, the negative behavior that you're nurturing and your lack of creativity. Wow, that's so true that we do sometimes have this. Oh, look, they got it. This jealousy, this pointing out what they have and I don't have or the negative uh, parts of it. For those of you that have that, gotten that far in my program, you know that we talk a lot about um, uh, being grateful in your gratitude journals and how powerful that is. And I want to leave you with this is there's another little piece that I wanted to share with you. Sorry, let me pull up my notes here. All right. So one of the reasons why you hired me or you're part of this program is because you understand in some form that you can only assimilate what you can see and you can't see your own programming. We all have certain programming within our lives, right? From whether the way we were brought up to the, the, the situations we're sitting in every single day. As a matter of fact, most of you go to industry specific events that just continually generate the same industry specific challenges right so you're going to study clubs or you're going to seminars or you're going to workshops where you're still talking about the same challenges from within the industry and one of the things that i look at is being able to focus on 
outside of your industry, right? And being able to say, hey, I'm, I'm looking from outside the jar. I'm seeing things on a different level because you're just, that's nothing against you. It's just that you're not able to see it because it's what you're stuck in every single day. You can't see your own programming. I can't see my own programming. It's the reason why I hire coaches for my own business. It's the reason why one of the people that we hired to help us in this last quarter was somebody who can totally see it on a different level. She doesn't do what I do. She sees it in a different way. And so she's able to give another view, which has totally helped me in my business. It's one of the reasons why I have my personal trainer because he can see how I, he literally watches how I work out and says, hey, and I don't say anything and go, hey, what's wrong with your left side? Are you feeling that pretty tight? I was like, yeah. How do you notice, how are you knowing that? I'm like, I wasn't doing anything. I didn't think I was doing anything different, but he can see it differently because I can't see my own programming. So you can only assimilate what you can see. So if you're around negative people, if you're around people that are like, yep, competition is terrible out there, or you're around, so, oh, it's so hard, it's so hard. Or, yeah, those guys that, you know, we've got these other people moving in and we're fearing that competition, those people or the new corporations or whatever it might be. Of course, that's what we're going to get more of, more of that fear, more of that frustration, because that's all we can see. So my message to you today, and I, sorry, this went a little long, I went over 10 minutes today. Sorry about that. But I just wanted to really get this message out to you that, it's not about the competition. It's about your willingness to be able to step outside your own ego. Uh, ego. I want to say eagle. Ego. Get more um, education on what you're doing. Be able to focus more on the positives and not so much the negatives. And believe that it's not about uh, scarcity and that there is no shortage, shortage of sick people, people who need your service in your area. As long as you know who your target market is, your ideal client, how to get that message out to them, and how to get them to say yes. It's a three-part process, all right? So I hope that served you this week. Uh, thank you so much for, for listening to these and watching these. I hope you're getting something out of them. One a week, right? We're going to get one coming out to you every single week, just giving you one little message that hopefully will take your day and make you think on the next level and give you some ideas of what you can do on the next level, how you can think differently. And, um, yeah, so I should say good day, mate, because I'm down here. And we will uh, see you in your office soon or online soon. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.